Hi, today I'm going to show you a new web app called Stencilizer that I think is going to be helpful for some of our vinyl work with our die cutters. One of the most challenging things you can do with vinyl is to cut a photo and make it look recognizable. So I think this is where Stencilizer is going to come in handy. There's basically two ways you can do a photo. One is with outlines and the other is with a stencil where the darks are dark and the lights are light, which I think is a, is a better way to go for vinyl because you have lots of um, a lot less tiny pieces and just a nicer overall look I think. So um, anyway the first thing we need to do is choose a photo and you want to get the best photo you can. You want it to be crisp and clear. You want it as close up as you can have it and you want to crop out everything that doesn't matter. You want to remove the background and you want to make sure that you've adjusted the exposure and um, bumped up the contrast if you have a way to do that in a photo editor. Anything that you can do to make the photo better before it goes into Stencilizer will give you a better result. But you don't have to worry about um, little blemishes and freckles and things because those will all go away in the process anyway. So once you've got your file saved on your computer you want to click Choose File and then go to where you have it saved and open it. And then you want to click the Go button and this normally takes a little while but I'm going to skip ahead for your benefit. When Stencilizer is done this is what the page looks like. It'll have your original photo here and then it will give you nine choices. Now these are made up of different numbers of colors and different exposure levels. Not sure exactly what the um, what the nine represent, but what we want to do is we want to focus in on the black, try to train your eye to the black, and pick the ones that have the, that the, if we were just using the black, would look best for our vinyl. Normally you are just using one color of vinyl because we don't have enough skin tone colors of vinyl to do layering and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to focus on a one color of vinyl silhouette, if you will. So these these three here look the best to me if I'm just looking at the black and I'm going to be able to look at it in some more detail so I'm just sort of trying to screen right now. So for each of these that I want to look at more closely I need to click the enlarge button and I'm going to do that in different tabs for all three of these and I will again this takes a little bit of time so I'm going to skip ahead on that also. So here we look at the first one and we get a pretty good idea of what um, of what it looks like. When we scroll down here we see that we have an option to download an SVG but unfortunately I found out that the SVGs don't match the previews and they're not going to be suitable for our vinyl work. So we're just going to have to ignore those but we have these really nice preview images up here. We're going to use those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and copy the image and I'm going to go to Silhouette Studio and I'm going to paste the image there. And then I can go back and get another one. The second and third one turned out to be very similar so I'm just going to get the two. I'm going to go to Silhouette Studio and I'm going to paste, whoops, paste that. And now we're just going to trace these. These are very easy trace because they're um, in discrete colors. So we're going to go to the trace, select trace area, and select our area. Or you're going to uncheck high pass filter, and the black usually comes in around 33% threshold. So then we're going to click trace, and we'll move this guy off the side. Actually, we'll delete this guy. And we'll color, and then, okay, so that's what that one looks like. We're going to do this one, same process. Here we won't have to mess with the threshold at all because it's all black. And. We've got two there that we can compare and see which one we like better. Um, 
we can keep playing with this a little bit more and see what we think. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one, but that gives us two good options to, to choose from that would be great for vinyl cutting. So this is a great new tool. Again, it's called Stencilizer. I'll put the uh, web address up for you. And if you like this app, be sure and donate to the guy that is making it possible for us. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon.